And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Jalen Pryor, who writes, Hey, John and crew. Hope all is well. Thank you so much, Jalen. So, Timothy Chalamet just posted a picture of him in full Willy Wonka costume. And while I don't know much about the movie so far, I can't lie, it genuinely looks like he's going to have a blast with this role, and I'm excited for it. What do you think we can expect from his performance, and does this get you excited for the movie? Thanks, and bring on the filthy. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah, listen, it surprised a lot of people a little while ago when they announced that they were going to be doing a new Willy Wonka film, and this one is going to be a prequel. With And that was interesting enough. But where it really got my attention was when they announced that Timothy Chalamet was going to be playing the younger Willy Wonka. And the reason that catches my attention is this, is because I believe that Timothy Chalamet is the next Daniel Day-Lewis. Now, I'm not saying he's there yet. He's certainly not. And I'm not saying he's going to get to the status of Daniel Day-Lewis, but out of any actor working in the world today, that I believe has the potential to be that next guy, to be the one to sit on Daniel Day-Lewis's throne now that Daniel Day-Lewis has retired. I honestly think it could be Timothy Chalamet because this guy is ridiculously stupid talented already at a pretty damn young age. And he's only getting better every time I see him. And Rob, I haven't seen him in Dune yet, and you have. So I, I don't even know about that yet, but I'm very excited about that. Anyway, You'd be forgiven if you'd almost forgotten about this thing because there hasn't been a lot of talk about it. But Timothy Chalamet did recently jump on social media and he released the first images of him uh, in the costume. And we get a good look at it here with the iconic jacket, the top hat. He's got that real mischievous look in his face. If you just look at it, I just get a closer look at that face. I mean, he's just got that kind of mischievous, playful look in his eyes all at the same time. Now, Rob, look. It's just an image. It's just one picture. A picture is not going to tell us whether this movie is going to be good or not or whatever. But I do know this, Rob. Timothy Chalamet right now is one of the few actors in the world where he gets to pick and choose whatever movie he wants to do. He's just in that. Like he, most actors, even the famous ones, people don't realize they still have to get their agents to try to get them the big roles they want. Timothy Chalamet is in a position right now where he gets to pick what he wants to do. And for him to look and his representation to look at this and go, yeah, this looks meaty. This looks good. That kind of excites me for the project. Just knowing that he chose to be in this makes me kind of excited. I think the image looks good, but still at the end of the day, it doesn't really tell us a lot. The movie could be utterly giant mounds of donkey crap for all we know. But I love that he's in it. And I do kind of like the image a lot. Rob, you've had a chance to take a look at this. What do you feel about, you know, this upcoming Willy Wonka prequel idea? And what do you think about the image and Timothy Chalamet being in it? Well, first of all, I thought the image is great. I, I mean, I, I could definitely see him being the precursor to Gene Wilder in the original, you know, the original beloved film from the or what early 70s. Um, and I love the Roald Dahl books. You know, I loved, I wish they would make Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator because it's got aliens in it and I loved it. Um, but they didn't. But I think that this looks good. I mean, I think that he can bring, uh, look, I love, I thought he was great as Paul Atreides. I really liked him in, you know, my name. Uh, there, everything I've seen him in, I've liked him in. And like you said, I think he's one of our great young actors. And I think he needs to do something like this where he's going to have fun. I just hope they don't give him like the daddy issues that they brought to the Tim Burton version, mm. the Johnny Depp version, which I, you know, I was never, I wasn't a big fan of that because I always thought that Willy Wonka in the books was kind of this Machiavellian pulling the strings kind of guy that, that set traps for all these kids. Like, you know, he, he, he wanted to see what they were, what they were. I mean, he was going to bequeath the entire business to the, to the kid who, made it through and finds out that Charlie Bucket is truly a good person and worthy of the, of the, of the Wonka name. And I always love that. And I, I believe that we're going to see the proper Genesis of that character in Timothy Chalamet's Wonka. And I look forward to it. I, I, you know, I wasn't, I gotta tell you, I wasn't at all like, eh, you know, whatever, but I saw this image and I'm like, all right, all right. That's, that's uh that looks good to me. And it, 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 it upped my excitement level a bit. 
Now, which yeah. is what any picture is supposed to do, I guess. Now, look, I know there's still a bunch of people out there um, who probably I'm going to go on a limb, Rob, and guess the majority of the people uh, watching this have probably not seen his two best performances. One was Call Me By Your Name, which I, that was really I may have seen him in something else before that. And I just don't remember. But that's one where I watched that movie and I watched this guy and went, dear heavens, this kid is amazing and then there's another little movie that i bet most people haven't seen that he did with steve carell called beautiful boy which again was a totally different kind of character for him and again it just absolutely blew my mind and then he was in something that i didn't think was all that great but again his performance elevated the movie it was called the king um that he was just phenomenal and i haven't seen yeah. dune yet i haven't seen dune like you have um but how was he in dune like generally speaking how did you think he was in dune I, you know what? I thought he was great in Dune. I, I, you know, I really did. I, and uh, he has the weight of the world on his shoulders and he still has to be the kind of person he has to be. I, I thought he was really, really good. I, I, I don't think they could have picked a better person to play Paul Atreides. I thought he was great. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about this? Are you at all excited for a Willy Wonka prequel? I wasn't tremendously until I heard Chalamet was going to be in it. What do you think about the image? Does it kind of fit what you were thinking about? Did you think it would look like something completely different? Where are you guys at right now? Jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.